Okay. There have been people I have placed much effort in helping trying to be obedient to God. Mm -hmm. I believe that demons play similar tricks to us all. I am so serious. And I believe that one of demons' tricks is to bring people in your life to distract you from trying to be obedient to God. Man, there is a person I help. And let's say that person's name is Ben. And I hope that person doesn't mind me saying this, which I am not going to say that person's actual name or say anything really personal about that person. But let's say that person's name is Ben, which it is not, but let's say it is. Okay. I think in the beginning, let's say within a year, Let's say within a year, Ben had friends. And I believe those friends were contacting Ben. Okay. I think most or all of those friends did not want to serve God. So if you are trying to serve God and your friends are not trying to serve God, I believe they will influence you to not want to serve God. So eventually, I believe I got Ben to leave those friends alone. Okay. Now, I believe Ben was contacted by people that Ben has not heard from, I think, in a year or more. Okay, listen now. If you are trying to live for God, if you are trying to be obedient to God, if you begin to get contacted by people that don't want to serve God and from people... How can I say this? If you are trying to live for Jesus Christ and you get contacted by people who don't want to serve God and for some reason want to, I guess, start back or start communicating with you again, I think that is a red flag. Caution, caution, caution. Right? So I believe I got Ben to stop messing with those people as well. I believe at that time, Ben knew, I believe Ben knew that those people are a distraction. Listen now, I believe if you begin trying to live for God, I think demons will send people your way. Let me talk about this. I think some people are trying to get married, which there is nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that, I think. Nothing wrong with it. But you have to be cautious. Let's say you pray to God about getting a wife, husband, stuff like that, right? You know, you praying to God, God, you know, I want uh, a wife and 
I want her to be like this and that and blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's say a woman or a man come your way. And let's say it seems like God has answered your prayer with that person. Man, man, please listen. Monitor that person. Test the fruit. First, I would think, try to figure out or ask that person, do they serve God? If they don't want to serve God and you want to serve God, why get with that person? Please listen to me. If you are trying to serve God and that person doesn't want to serve God, let's say that person say to you, hey, I am never going to serve God because I hate him. Man, leave that person alone. Or at the least, don't try to marry that person. If anything, I guess, try to help that person to serve God. But, please listen. Listen to me. If a person doesn't want to serve God, why expect that person to be moral? Man, I am not saying that everyone that don't serve God isn't moral. I am not saying that. But what is the chance of a person who don't serve God to be moral? Let's say you are looking for a husband and let's say you want me as a husband <laughs> and I'm lying to you, I'm beating on you, I'm cussing you out. I'm showing much bad fruit, so many bad attributes and stuff like that. Why in the world would you marry me? I'm cussing you out. I'm beating you up. I'm lying to you. I'm cheating on you and stuff like that. Why would you marry me? Well, you know, maybe Kevin will change in the future. Then you wait until I change. Man, why would you marry me if I am currently doing evil? Won't I still do it when I get married to you? I think everyone that comes your way is not sent from God. Or how can I say that? I believe there are some people who comes your way that are not sent by God. I'm trying to tell you. I believe that. Monitor people. Look at a person's, I guess I can say attributes or perhaps their personality. Don't be so thirsty like, I want to get married now. I want a boyfriend, girlfriend now. I don't want to wait. I want to have a family now. So I'm going to ignore all the bad stuff and just hope that everything will turn out fine. What? Do you understand what I am trying to tell you? When you begin to live for God, be cautious of people. Man, let me say this. I think ever since, I forget when it was, but I think, I think more so in the, in the past, I don't think not so much now because I'm more cautious of it now, but I believe more so in the past, I believe I was sent people to try to distract me from trying to be obedient to God. 
like I believe I was contacted by some women trying to get me into some sexual type of stuff. I'm serious now. I'm not married. I don't have any children. Every woman that came my way, I don't think they were of God. Which I am not saying that I am like this top elite Christian man. I am not saying that. But again, I am not the type of guy that is really thirsty for a female. What if I was? I probably would have fallen long time ago. Let me say this. I have not been the way I am for a very long time. I believe there was a time when I was lukewarm or straight, I guess I can say, in sin. I don't want to be lukewarm anymore. I believe my life was horrible when I was in sin and lukewarm, which is kind of like the same thing, I guess. But I believe my life was horrible back then. I tried, I believe I tried many times living life in my own way. It doesn't work for me. It don't. This is one of the reasons I think I am the way I am now. Not saying I am doing everything right, but I am trying to do right. So what point am I making to you? Be cautious of people. Just because a person say they love God and they serve God, don't automatically believe them. If a person loves God, I believe it is going to show. If if I like eating chicken and stuff like that, I believe it is going to show. If you only see me eating chicken once a year, and I tell you I only eat chicken once a year, how can I say I love chicken? <laughs> or, I mean, how can I say I love eating chicken if I only eat it once a year? I think something is wrong. Because I think if a person say they love doing something, I think they will do it more than one time a year. Unless there is some type of problem or something, I guess. I don't know. I believe some people are not sent from God. Don't be so thirsty to want to be around many friends and many people that... Don't be so thirsty to be that way because that may be your downfall. Me now, if anything, I probably have only one friend, if that. And probably the other people are people that I may contact or help and stuff like that. Well, maybe I have more than one friend. Well, let me just stop here. God bless you.